Hello, welcome back. And uh, today is Wednesday evening, so we're at Pete's today, and time to get his uh, his engine counter back together. <sighs> and John's just on cleanup duty, so we're getting the gas cleaned up. And uh, just to provide for this video, this is definitely a uh, don't do what we do nope. <laughs> type of thing. <laughs> uh, replacing a single piston <laughs> in an engine is very uh non-standard i'm not gonna ride this thing so uh but it's gonna get pete going again <laughs> and uh we're doing what we got to do we got gaskets we got pistons we're gonna be uh getting in there we gotta finish the bore up just give it a little uh a little kiss with the flex hone if you ever used one of these they can make a mess this is a, a super fine 400 grit one so it's just gonna you know run it up and in and out there a couple times break the glaze and uh, I'll be ready for the the piston back at it. So uh, uh, here's Pete. So getting us the drill we're gonna use. It's gonna be checking his head over. Maybe checking the, the surface if it's flat again. Clean up the gaskets. So he'll be doing this while John and I are doing this. So uh, yeah, I don't know how far we're gonna get. Well, we're going to get any of the bell housing and transmission and all kind of making an assembly, but uh, come back at you in a minute. Right. <laughs> it's we, just, we just got started. Okay, three. Three. Oh, that makes me feel good. That's all we're going to do. This should be all it takes. Just to get a little bit of rough on it. There we go. John's busy like, cleaning gaskets off. Yep. That's nice. actually quite nice him doing something. Yeah, mm. it's last time. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Well, no? I guess he switches up when it's not his car. It's not <laughs> exactly. It's a lot easier to work on Somebody your car. car I can mess up. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I put way more scratches in your car than I ever did mine. Oh well, yeah, paint work as well. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I was just trying to encourage you to get get more of it done. That's all. All right, we're getting ready to put the piston on the connecting rod. So, I got this thing. Uh, weight matched at work to within a zero or point zero of a gram so right on the money and uh so you can see how the the combustion chamber is different it's got the uh these little kick-ins and it closely matches or closer matches the shape of the combustion chamber so if you put this right down on it you see it'll almost perfect instead of the old style one it has this big open area down through here so there's going to be a lot of fuel and air underneath the shelf so when the pistons kind of dead top dead center it's going to be, that's why it's kind of carboned up i think in here mm. so it doesn't burn as efficiently so all right we're going to get this together the tedious part there we go number one, one. There we go. All right, so orientation now. That and the bevel is always to the right. So it's going to be like so. Let's get a little bit of oil on this in a bit. It's in the hole. It's gonna stay there now. Yeah, we're all in. All in. And a little yellow bottle there, look, and a little throttle body plate there. 175 that, shot of nitrous. I think that throttle body plate's too small for John's throttle body. Oh, small. that's not going on my car. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll open that up, John. Bullshit. That, that's, that, that, that has got your up. name on it, mate. Yeah, no. We, we... There we go. Oh, yeah. Pistons in. All right, we're going Time to talk it up. About 40 f here. Alright, we'll go up to 63. Or something close. There it is. 
55, 60, 1, 2, 3. This is where it's like, you're not sure you should be tightening a rod bolt this tight kind of feeling. <laughs> Yeah. All right, you, you want to check the rest? Well, might as well while we're in here. At least check a couple <laughs> of them. <clears throat> All right. All good. Happy. I'm Maybe. done. It's time to drink a beer. One piece gasket in place for the sun. Yep. Let's give all the bolts ready for the oil pan. Uh, you're joking, right? Because I have no idea where the hell they are. <laughs> well, I will go and sort that out <laughs> now. Be back in a minute. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's not funny. There we go. That's not funny at all. <laughs> Just because it happened to me. <laughs> Never happened to you, but it happened to me. Everybody used that saying. Hey, I know, and it was because of me. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God, these two. <laughs> it was not a good day. There we go. Definitely not a good day. Yeah. Sump is on. And talk down by John, so uh -oh. if there's any leaks. Yeah, it's me. And I cleaned most of it, so. Yeah, cleaned it, talked it. Good at talking. I've only got one beer in me, so uh, that's what the blame is gonna be. Mm. <clears throat> you can get these ones fairly tight. Yep. That one's special. Fairly, you said, John. Fairly. Yeah, that's, that's uh, I've, I've got that. Yeah, you got that? Yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're all cleaned up, ready to put the, the head back on. See, there's the the Thopro, I don't know if you can see it, 1006 head gaskets, lock receiver, grooves required. You can see that there, but so these have like a little raised portion going around the, the fire ring to fit into the receiver grooves of these heads. So, those old school stuff. So, old school. 20, 20 plus years. Expensive and pain in the butt. That's what it really means right now. Yeah, head gasket, $80. <laughs> yeah. Well, you go higher. This head's going to come up right to that surface there. There you go. They're on. There's thread sealant, and we clean up the bolts, and we'll go grab them. <clears throat> so that, I just throw the middle first, just so it holds the head. So and I can... The John's job is obsolete. It's over now. <laughs> it has been <laughs> taken over by mechanical advantage. Here we go. Let's go around one more time. Retalk the heads. So we've talked the new one down, and we also check the... Uh, other one, just to make sure. Ones. Very nice. All right. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Sure. Lined up. Yeah, look good on this side. Let okay. me add a little bit more. What's the the more smooth. Oh, I think the tube exploded. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's what they say. The warning when you buy this little tool is like, be careful you don't <laughs> hit it too hard and it'll explode the tube. All right. Here we go. You got the water hose right here. Oh, yeah, let's get it on there first. Okay, on there. Okay. Right, these gaskets are right up to the top, yeah, so they're... I may need to lift this one. Good. Ah, it's showing good in the port. This one, this, this one is um, your side is higher. Look at the uh, the port. Can you see the, the port in this, yeah, this yeah. direction? Your side is good. There's no, uh, there's no interference. Yeah, it looks like this side needs to come up a little bit. The Let me get the screws kind of started. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing the, I'm, there's no gasket in the way. Which hole? 
Th this yeah. one, this one's down lower, so this one might actually so. have to come up a little bit. Let me see. Is that the one? That yep. Okay. That's why I got it. Okay. Well, no, two hundred miles. Well, two hundred miles, but they're all a quarter mile at a time. It's yeah. a lot of miles. <laughs> so pretty. Old school. These actually, these rockers are Ford Motorsport or Ford. Yeah, old Ford Motorsport stuff is actually worth quite a bit of money these days, just because people collect it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these old one seven twos. Look, you stop going on about how old everything is. <laughs> <laughs> what we're saying, Pete, is you're is you're a classic. You are a classic. Actually, we're getting up there in the antique uh, a ages now. <laughs> So, uh, box, I need to set those. I'm gonna stab the distributor. How's the uh, the gasket or the silicone seal look at the back, China Rail? It's fine. It's just smushed out, right, but dude. it's good. You, I can see it all along the edge, so that's kind of the important part. Good, good, good. Time we got ooh, four to ten. That's another one of those where Mike just throws me a bone to make me feel good about something. How does that look over there? I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. <laughs> Put your hand on it. And yeah. Hey, hey. That's a 15 foot pound right there. Uh, All right. You got a new filter? I think I got you a new filter. I got two there. That's, I think that one was mine. That's an old, I've had that probably 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now who's talking 20 years old? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you saying things so old? Many this was it. one that you bought, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, we're wrapping it up. It's a little, almost 10.30 at night, but a uh, good place to stop. Heads on and torqued. Intake manifolds on and torqued. All I gotta do is shove something in the intake. Keep any crud from getting into it and uh, hopefully stave it off for another week or two until we get back, but. Yeah, because you know. I'm buggering off to America. Yeah. <laughs> For the, Bahamas, the Bahamas in New York. For the Americans, that means buggering off means he's just like getting out of here. Getting out of here. <laughs> so he, he got himself a Stifler's cross member to go with his TKX. Yeah, nice. He wants to be part of the club. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the, the bushy kits over there by, on the table by John. Yeah. So just. Instead of my stock one that I had to. Uh, next time we see this. This old 347 is going to be off the stand. I'm going to bolt the clutch and the bell housing up and the transmission all together. And it'll all hopefully go in at the same time. So, but yeah, we'll button this up and uh, be a few weeks before we're back at it. But we're in a good place. So, catch you guys later. Later. <laughs>